from a goal. Oh, wow. Yes. Ah. <laughs> MC and welcome back to Mercedes-Benz World and the Cobra which I've parked up to capture the arrivals at the Piston Heads Sunday service. Matchy matchy. <laughs> so uh, Jungle Squad has been driving us here. It was quite slippery today wasn't it? Yeah. So it's going to be a great day so I'm looking forward to seeing what cars turn up. Oh look a Honda S660. Little K car in red. I don't think I've seen that one before. With a 570S behind. Oh take a look at that. An M4 GTS has just turned up. Now over the road at the Brooklyn's Motor Museum they have a mini day so unfortunately we won't see any minis at the... oh. Next up a couple of R32 Golfs. That one sounds supercharged. And check this out we've got the Visap GT2 RS pulling into the meet. Very nice with a 488 on tow. And three crows are having a fight. <laughs> oh look a satin chrome green SL. And it seems someone of late has used this roundabout to do sideways-ness. And behind the C63 and the Boxster, we have another Honda S660. He's going to be in for quite a surprise when he sees that there's a red one already in there, because there's only like five in the country, if that. Next, we have a bronze-coloured C63 wagon. That looks incredible. And the Abarths have found their friends. All arriving together. Waking up the neighbours, of which there are none. And take a look at this E46 M3. It's like a plum colour, looks really nice. And next, a Clio V6. Oh look, it's the Self-Preservation Society. Actively, oh they're going to, yes, the mini show. That's why they haven't pulled in. Well hopefully we'll see loads of minis at Adam Seafest, my very own car show in the summer, which I'm sure will be at the cutting edge of all car shows. And if you're looking for a cutting edge yourself, then look no further than this video's sponsor, Kami Koto. We all know the best things come from Japan. Well these Kami Koto knives are made using Japanese steel of the highest quality. No, no, no. The knives utilize over 800 years of Japanese expertise, meaning they have uh, 16 times more heritage than a Nissan GTR. <laughs> Kamikoto's knifesmiths go through a unique and extensive 19 step process to craft each knife, and each one is individually inspected. And you know they've got to be good as these knives are used by Michelin starred chefs. These three knives come in a unique ash wood box, perfect for gifting, and a life time guarantee. Kamikoto has various offers on right now and I've managed to slice $50 off your price by using my code ADAMC3046 using the link down below. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, we've got the Porsche 996 and then we have an aluminium bodied Cobra. You know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the shot. Here we go. Right, mine in shot. First off, the 996 and then we have the almighty Cobra behind it. There we go, fantastic. I did consider getting in my car and quickly parking next to the Cobra, but more cars have already gone in there, so I wouldn't be next to it, which would be unfortunate. So we'll see it in there. We'll capture the arrivals first. 570 GT. Next up, we have a C7 Corvette. I believe that to be the Grand Sport, and then a Morgan. I mean, the purpose of this video is not to find cars that match the spec of my car, but it's always nice. And an early vanquish who has gone the wrong way. This chap's on his way to 155 miles per hour, although it's a 30 limit down here. Got an old 911 SC passing through as well. And a white RX7. Here comes the vanquish with a quattro on tow. Rather nice. We love the five cylinder noises from this particular quattro, a regular at a lot of the recent car meets. And what do you think of this? A satin gold Subaru. That certainly is a wrap. Civic Type R's lost. Now, I remarked about this at the previous Sunday service that I went to, hosted by Piston Heads, who were originally a TVR forum, but there was only one TVR at the previous one at Caffeine and Machine, so let's see how many TVRs there will be today. Hopefully there's lots, because I love a TVR, me. Oh, well, we have a yellow Dino and a blue and white striped Ford GT. 
that's probably the highlight for me so far. Yes, there it is, the first TVR of the day, and this is a TVR wedge, a 390 SE with the pop-up headlights. Fantastic, the first TVR of the day. And the Hilux, yes, he wanted to get included. And also in traffic, a piece of Americana, a C5 Corvette in orange. And another RX-7, check that out. Very nice. And then the Lupo behind it trying to fit in. And 360, also trying to fit in. The guy in the... E46 Compact is very annoyed about the car in front who slowed down. Look, he's, he's right on their bumper. Wait a minute, it, is, is that a Supra? Well, we came from a Mark V Supra and now we have a Mark IV Toyota Supra. American audience won't care too much about what we have next but we don't see these in this country next up we have a Ford Crown Victoria this one even with the searchlight on and the bash bar on the front now I've just heard in the background what sounds like an RB ah there we go we've got an R32 in midnight's blue Quite a few JDM whips in today. Now, as predicted, quite a few of the minis have gone in and are now coming back out again to find the mini day. That sounds very straight cut. And another one of the minis that have made a wrong turn is this example, which I think looks fantastic with those spotlights and a bit of a livery around it. But as a result of this two for the price of one show day, we've got so many minis to look at. And I've just seen we've got a little convoy arriving on this roundabout. There we have it, some classic minis, green, green, purple and red. <laughs> they are very small for these roads. Mini by name, mini by being mini. And more going down the Japanese route we've got in Mark II MX-5 pulling in. Something about that sounds... no. But whilst there certainly are loads more cars coming in, I'm going to retire Dungle Skog from his driver's seat position and I'm going to go in myself and hope to park in a fairly decent space near the other Cobra. If we can park next to him that would be great but I, I doubt it because it's like first come first served. I can hear something coming. Oh, E61 M5 as well. So I'm going to follow a Audi TT into the meet and have a look at some more cars. I didn't film all of them so there's more to look at that's for sure. Welcome once again to Mercedes-Benz world. So it seems like I've just arrived again. We've got a blue and white striped Cobra as I have parked up towards the back of the show. Check out these platinum wheels on this M2. Now I don't think, oh, the Cobra hasn't come in. Maybe he didn't have a smiley. You need a smiley to get in. You need to have signed up. Maybe it's full, I don't know, but there we go. Looks imperial blue as well. So I thought this sounded a little bit different when it came in. It's not an MX-5 engine, they've got a BMW straight six up front. Managed to squeeze it in. We have the yellow Dino GT part next to the Mark IV MX-5 and the Ford GT with that massive supercharger on display in the middle. And here is the 390 SE. Oh, this brings back memories of my old TVR. This particular wedge is proud to be made in England. Also, whilst my Cobra is a DAX kit we have another DAX here which is this a DAX Rush so they make these Catrim style cars as well as the Cobra body cars this one with a bare aluminium bonnet and further down we have a section I've been looking forward to glimpsing at we've got the 996 with the golden BBS's and then the bare aluminium Cobra this one is a DB replica this one has I believe a Ford 427 so it has the proper engine matte black side pipes black interior and a beautiful wooden steering wheel. Now it looks and sounds like some of the earlier arrivals are leaving including that dark green chimera which is maneuvering up there so we might have to capture some departures fairly soon. Here's the brown C63 wagon and look the two Honda S660s have found each other and parked next door to each other showing off each other's engines. Small little 660cc units. 
Let's see, 63 doing V8 noises, two Z4s and a BMW Z1 with the doors down. And finally we have the Vanquish which is sat here for sale. There goes an Avora 410. Actually quite a lot are coming out at quite a pace. There's a Delta Integrale and a loud GT4. Here is an overall view of the meet. There's the Z1 looking fantastic down there. Ah! That siren is from the Crown Vic. <laughs> there we go. I was thinking, when did the police arrive? But it wasn't the genuine police. So we've got the Dino, the Crown Vic, and R32 coming as well. Here comes the Sheriff. <laughs> and the 32 GTR, Roll Cage 2. Over there, we've got a couple in their bathrobes. There's the girl. There she is. And an Aston Martin Vanquish leaving the show. Ah, an Opal Speedster arrives. Oh, E92. Now, this cage room has been warning the traffic of a speed trap down here. It's been flashing headlights at people, so hopefully the RX-7 and the 1.8 turbo swapped Lupo behave themselves. Very nice. Not to 30 done well. Next up we've got an IQ which has been debadged, so anyone might think it's the Aston Martin Signet. And then the BMW Turbo Swapped MX-5. Oh, I'm gonna go. Next up we have one of the many R32 Golfs that has arrived today. And the GT3. V8. That was a V8 Porsche 997 Carrera. Some of the baths are leaving, making noises. Not the Nürburgring, mate. Next up, a non V8 997 and an E46 M3. Very nice colour with seatbelts to match. And after the 991 Targa GTS, we have the supercharged R32 Golf. So let's listen to this. Oh, this has got pipes. Very nice sounding F12. And the M2. And here comes the brown C63 and the M2 with the platinum wheels as well. Next around the roundabout, we've got an aerial Aston, both helmeted up. And the Mazda RX-7 FD with the turboed ST behind. And now we have an Aston Martin V12 Vantage. You can reach 30 if you want. There we go. He's going skiing. Astro VXR. VX cold. And next we have the 390 SE TVR Wedge leaving the show. And next up we've got the Esprit. And an E92, a GT3, there's an S15 waiting to leave as well. Here comes the GT3 with Snouty McSnoutface behind and the fairly standard S15. RS3 is next to come. And from one five-cylinder Audi to another, we've got the Audi Quattro next to the part. Whoa! Close to that curb there. The Merc's ascending here, look at that. He's on a proper hoon. Go on, send it. Here he goes. Hooning. Next we have this F12, which should sound amazing. Yes, 
good stuff. Oh, it's like a love story. The S660s have now made friends and they're leaving together. And it sounds like the rumble of a Cobra is also leaving. I can't see it. There it is. So we've got the 660cc engines and then a 7 liter engine behind them. So quite a difference after the S660s. As you can see, pretty much all of the cars have left. Shoot. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that video from the Pearson Head Sunday Service of Mercedes-Benz World. Go follow me on Instagram for the pictures I post from these events and the updates and highlights of where I am. But for now, thanks for watching. Um. I, I've, I've not broken down per se, well no I have, my battery just gave up on me and, and not even the mighty Accord can save me. But we're by Ferrari, that's good, we saw a V1 earlier, I didn't get a good picture of it, that's not good. I don't think you are able to flag down an AA van, um, I'll see you in a bit.